Greetings from the Most Worshipful Prince Charles Grand Lodge of South Carolina. I am E. Spencer Scott, the first 26th Most Worshipful Grand Master. On March 16, 2020, I issued a directive to cease all Masonic activities, functions, last rites, etc., due to the national pandemic and the safety and for the safety of our members. Once these restrictions are lifted, we will get back to business as usual. However, in the meantime, we have compiled a small memorial video dedicated to those who have served this organization and who have traveled to that undiscovered country from which no man returns. We hope that this will bring peace, comfort, and closure to the families, brothers, and friends of our fallen loved ones. May God bless you all, and may God bless the most worshipful Prince of Grand Lord of South Carolina. Timothy chapter 4 verses 7 through 8 and it reads I have fought the good fight I have finished my course I have kept the faith henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only but unto all them also that love is appearing. We come today to say a few words over our brothers who have passed these past 17 months. We've been unable to gather to do this collectively. However, we will do it virtually. We owe it to our brothers. Three things. I have fought the good fight. In this world, we have to fight fight for our rights, fight for equal rights. And in our fight, they have not been the fight that tests our physical strength, but our mental aptitude. Sometimes not knowing when or where. But as a soldier in the army of the Lord, we must be ready to do battle. We have to fight and sometimes we have to cry. Spiritual warfare will tire us, but we must stay on the battlefield. Secondly, finish the course. We do not know when death will come. We know it's coming. Wherever we are, 
when that time comes, it is finished. Like a runner in a race, you may not place first, second, or third, but you must cross the finish line. Everyone gets the prize. During this pandemic, so many people have slipped away from us. No time to say goodbye. And before we can grieve or even begin to grieve, there is yet another death. We have finished the race. It means that we have stayed in the race. We've stayed the course. When your journey is completed, and to God you have been true, Pharaoh home will be in glory. Your enraptured soul will view. And finally, keep the faith. If you get to the point where you can't keep the faith, let the faith keep you. While being initiated, you were asked, in whom do you put your trust? Everyone had to answer. You who are left behind today have to answer to your name. Faith is the soul's dependence on God. We have someone who, like the conductor who held us by the left arm to guide us, so that we would not stumble. We could not see who it was, but we knew someone was there. Most times, it was someone we had faith and trust and confidence in. Ultimately, we must trust God. When we trust him, he will take care of us. When we trust him, he will fix things for us. I close with this story of long ago. There was a man who was, uh, would ride the bus home every day, and he would get off in front of the church. And when he got off, he would take his time and he would walk through the cemetery. The bus driver, being very inquisitive, wanted to know, why was it that he was going through the church's cemetery? And he replied one day, you see, well, if I followed the street around, it's going to take me about 20 minutes to get to my house. So I found a shortcut. And in order for me to get home, I've got to go through the cemetery. Soon and very soon, all of us will have to go through the cemetery. We thank God for this day and we salute our brothers whose journey is now complete. Amen.